Hi, I'm Dr. Bruce Rippey with the Strategic Advisor Board. Welcome to All Things Health and Wellness. Um, I've been asking, I've been asked a lot about the gut biome recently. Uh, the most recent one was, first of all, what am I dealing with? Why is it so different, right? So uh, a lot of these inflammatory bowel diseases as we get older, uh, constipation, diarrhea, everything in between, Crohn's disease, inflammatory bowel of any kind, right, IBS and so forth, has become rampant. And there are a couple of reasons for that. So I'm going to basically break those down. So childhood, that's a big one. Okay. In childhood, if you had to take a lot of antibiotics, which uh, I was in the military with my family. So I did, I had to take antibiotics. There were several times people would get sick. And at that point in time, it was just, Hey, here's a big whack of antibiotics that kills off the good flora as well as, uh, you know, <laughs> killing off the thing that's bothering you. Right. So that was bad news. Uh, the kind of water, the environmental toxins that you have. Uh, there are people that were showing for some reason, the children that were growing up in rural areas that didn't have all the pollution and all of that stuff actually had worse guts. You would think, well, they've got, they get a lot of their food from the gardens. So they're eating healthy. That should not be. And what they found it was because the aerosolized, uh, basically everything that kills everything else, except for what you're trying to grow. Um, <clears throat> these pesticides and herbicides and all of that kind of stuff were getting into the environment aerosolized. They were in the air of the people in the farms. And it was, and it is causing, by the way, a huge uptick in inflammatory bowel disease. So I was asked whether or not the gut biome actually matters. Well, first of all, you need to know where it came from. So it's a good idea for you to say, okay, yeah, I took a lot of antibiotics when I was a kid. Uh, maybe I was exposed to things that I didn't food food choices were different when I was a kid than maybe when they were they were when you were a kid. But, uh, you know, those food choices made a huge difference. And then what can we do about it now? So the rest of this series is going to be going along. OK, once I understand from whence I came, which is my childhood, what can I do about that? And we're going to talk about this in this next series. So right now, take a few minutes just to kind of realize where would you come from? What kind of environment were your mom and dad in? What were you in? Was, was it a wealthy environment where you had all the foods that you needed? Did you take Flintstone vitamins when you were kids like we did once in a great while? You know, kind of look at, okay, what did my childhood look like? And in the next few videos, I'm going to go through what the gut biome actually does, how it regulates those things, what neurotransmitters are available, and how the gut-brain connection can be, uh, can be helped by making some quick changes. Here again, Dr. Bruce Rippey, Strategic Advisor Board, Dr. Bruce at BrentMed.com. If you have any questions for me, I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, be an example of what's possible.